We have like all this room now. So much <laughs> We're not space like, for activity. Eh, 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 eh. Oh, you're like, yep. Welcome back to Bourbon Blind. <laughs> Just imagine when we get like the full size bar. I'll be over here like, hey, hey Kyle. Hey, and welcome back to Bourbon Blind, where the guys drink what y'all pick. So please feel free to leave a comment in that comment section or email me, bourbonblindtasting at gmail.com. And we will try and get your bo uh, bottle on the show as fast as humanly possible. We are in the new studio. Uh, we're a little echoey right now. Uh, we've got our back wall three quarters of the way done. Uh, the rest of the room is uh, not quite there yet, but we are actually physically eight months into this in our at least building. So with that, um, for the first bottle ever poured in here, I wanted it to do me something special, but we don't have all our bottles out here yet. And I don't want the guys to see me because they're outside that door in the house. Uh, I don't want them seeing uh, what I'm grabbing. So I do have a uh, barrel bourbon. I absolutely love it. This is batch 18. And it's 111 proof, so it should be good. So we'll see what the guys think of this one. And... So if you haven't seen this before, uh, we taste whiskey without the hype of the label. The guys don't know what they're drinking, and then they're gonna give you a price point that they're willing to pay without knowing what is in their glass. Uh, if you like what you've seen, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. And if you love us, go check out our Patreon page and uh, see all the goodies that are over there. Uh, with that, I'm gonna go get the guys. It's a little weird being out here with this echo, but we'll see what they think of a uh, barrel. What's up guys, welcome back to Bourbon Blind. We are first episode in the new studio. It sounds like it's hot as balls. There's no paint on the walls. Um, but we're in here. But we're in here. And this we're is in. gonna be the basic layout of it. Uh, still have more work to do on the bar. Got that behind us done. There's gonna be some counter back there eventually. Fill up all that yeah, stuff and junk, right? Uh, but yeah, we're in here, dude. This is I, exciting. It is. It's been a journey. It, <laughs> this was supposed to be done in March. It's now August. So, so things happened right. uh, between March and well, now. It didn't start, it didn't stop raining until March. So like from last week, years. basically. And then COVID happened, so there was that whole thing. Uh, but like I said, man, we're in here. So it is hot. There's no AC. I think I said that, but. So, you know, just in case you miss it, he's Kyle. I'm Nick. This is Bird Bond. We do, we do tasting stuff. Drinking so. some stuff without the hype of a label. Ooh. Ooh. I really like it. It's got, it's got some goodness. Yep. A little it's bit of ethanol, but just. Some instant, like, sweetness, caramel, like, brown yeah. sugar. I'm. I like it. So um, yes, there is microphones in the shot that won't be permanent, um, but with how much the room is echoing, because other than that wall, it's a bare room, eventually those will go away. But uh, right now, just to try and make it as good as possible for you guys, as, as how do you always put it? The least amount of Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> try to make it the least worst we can. Right, what he said. <laughs> But, oh man, so on here. It's definitely like some brown sugar, a little bit of oak. It, yep. Um, almost, vanilla. almost leather. Definitely almost, vanilla. Almost leather, not not quite, but like the essence of leather. Yeah, I, no, I go with leather. There's there's some leather back in there. So I'm gonna say this probably has, you know, at least some sort of age on it. Getting like some plum. I almost want to say like more a, like, like a, like a dark plum. Almost like an, as, an astringent raisin, if that makes any sense. Nope, sure doesn't. So but we're going to go with it. <laughs> we're going with it. Hashtag astringent raisins in the comments. <laughs> Extra points for people who can spell uh, it right. Not not like a sugary raisin, but... We're going to get in here. 
Anyway. Having to reach? Right? So much space. <laughs> I'm fully extended. There's, there's all this space for activities. There's so much more room to do activities. We could build bunk beds <laughs> haphazardly. Oh, uh, so anyway. Cheers, guys. Mmm. Spearmint gum. Weird. I mean, I get I get a little bit of that rye-ness. Yeah, spearmint gum. But I definitely don't get spearmint. It's like a like a sweet, minty, almost chewy. Does that make any sense? Probably doesn't. Oh, I'm going in for another sip. So, as soon as I swallow, it's like a cold rush of air hits my mouth. Interesting. Which is why I immediately went to spearmint. Okay. The gum, um, not the spearmint. I, I do definitely get that rightness, that spicy. Yeah. I mean, it's not like a minty to me, anyway. Definitely some baking spices, real mm. heavy baking spices. Um, not anywhere the, near. The, the spicy baking spices, not like the earthy baking spices, but like the... The clove, right? And, um, all spice, all spice, right? Like that's that's where it's at for me. I'm not getting any of the sweetness that was there on the nose on the palate. No, no, definitely not. It's it's like all like spicy, like brown sugar and caramel on the nose, but the palate is all spice, all spice and all space spice. Which is, it's like Two-Face from Batman. Right. One's nice. Like, I almost want to say, if this is a rye, it's like a really low content rye. You know, I mean, like a 51%. And I would tell you. Because if it was 95, he'd be like, nope, I'm out. And he'd be, I, I'd take a sip, door. I'd take a sip, set it down, and walk right out. <laughs> but um, it's, I, I'm yeah. picking up some rye-ish stuff but it doesn't seem real rye powerful. Like it's not like a punch you in the face rye. Mm -mm. Finish lasts a good amount of time. Yeah, I'd say this is probably somewhere around 100 proof. Yeah, probably. Like it's not. It's, it's not bad, but it's not, not one I would go pick up. It would not be one of my preferred choices. I may have it for someone else, like if I have a but, friend that comes over a lot that likes something like this, I might. You tend to you tend to like the sweeter stuff. I like weeders. so um, I like the spicy. I do I do love the sweet side too, but this is not offending me. No, at it's all. not. It's not offensive at all. It's just not. It's not what I would immediately jump to. Is like, ooh, that's good. I'm almost wondering if this is over a hundred proof. Like, if it is, it doesn't really drink it. No. But it's got a lot of flavor. For me, it was a lot more, it seemed like the nose had a lot more going on than the palate. For me, the palate's more of just like spicy. For me, the palate is more going towards oakiness than, um, than rye. Yeah. Like the more I drink it, the more it's going towards that oaky, not like a dry tan in the oak, but right. like it's definitely got. It's it's pulling some wood out of it. No, there's there's definitely some. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna throw a little bit of this in my glass. Um, we forgot our straw, and it's in the house, and we're in the studio. It's a learning curve. It is, you know, life lessons. So what I want to use this for is this is um, spring water from one of the local springs here in Tennessee. And Tennessee does have lots of that limestone filtered water. I'll pull my hand, thanks. Gotcha, buddy. You're the best. Uh, yeah, Tennessee has a lot of those limestone filtered water springs and I checked it out and this happens to be one of them. So I feel like it just has a better effect on bourbon. That's... We have no empirical evidence to support no. that claim. But. I am going to do an episode on different waters. See how, see how that affects it. In case anyone was curious, Kyle loves Voss water. 
I do. I do love Boss Water. He is a bougie <laughs> ass man. <laughs> so good. Fiji's good too. If Fiji's it doesn't good. come in a round glass bottle, I don't want it. Most bottles are round, sir. I said a round glass bottle. <laughs> Water on the nose. I am sweating like a stuck pig. It's it's toasty. <laughs> um, on the nose, the water basically turned it off. It really did. It just There's, muted everything. It's everything that it was just turned down. Right. But Except you, like the ethanol stayed at the same level. It wasn't too bad before, but everything else is pretty strong. But with the water, the ethanol stayed there and everything else is just like, all right guys, see you in a week. On the palate though, it definitely went towards sweetness. Lots of sweetness. Like a creamy sweetness. Yeah, very creamy. Yeah. Like Super um, creamy. Almost like a custardy. Like a custardy cheesecake. Don't say cheese. I, hate, I don't like cheesecake. You're wrong. I know, and lots of people love cheesecake, and I am not one of those people. I can't even... <laughs> Every time you talk, I question <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to beat you over the head. Luckily, there's not much in here, and you've all break one of these bottles, so. <laughs> there's a couple bottles I can break. I'm not feel terrible about it. Mm. So. The water just made it super creamy. Like, the spices almost, not completely, but almost disappeared. Mm-hmm. Um, the finish is really hot with the water, though. Mm. For me. Seems like. I didn't really get that, but. Going back to this, it's actually picking up a little, picking up a little bit more of the sweetness. You definitely still get that that spiciness, that spicy woodiness, spicy wood. Um, so yeah, it's like a jalapeno tree. Sure, <laughs> spicy wood. Jalapeno. <laughs> uh, every time you talk, I question your sanity. <laughs> I do too. So, anyway, um, I'm probably in this a solid 60 bucks. Maybe 70. So, I'm going to give my price with the water because I liked it better with water. Mm -hmm. Okay. With the water, it, it didn't blow me away, but it was, in my opinion, better with the water than without. And I'm right. going to say 50, 55. Like, is. There's just not, I'm not picking up a lot going on. Mm -mm. Like it's just. It's a bit two dimensional. Yeah, like it's got but, a couple of cool things. But, but it's but, like, it's two dimensional on the nose and then a different kind of two dimensional on the palate. Right. Which yeah. I appreciate the differences, but I yeah, just but wish that it seems really detached. Like the, the palate and the nose share little to nothing with each right. other. I wish there was a little bit more mingling. A little more synergy. Synergy. That's a thing. All right. Mm. I'm dying. It is hot in here and can't have the fan on because it makes bad noises. It makes bad noises. So anyway, open it up. We give our price. See, right. see what we got. Drum roll on the new Cedar Bar Top. Bourbon. Batch 18, 11 eight. years. So it definitely has some, some age on it. 111.6 proof. And this is Tennessee and Kentucky. So it is likely Dickel and somewhere in Kentucky. Maybe Heaven <laughs> Hill, maybe who knows. Uh, it's likely Dickel and something else. So I wonder if without the water, it was getting more of the Kentucky flavors. With the water, it was getting more of the Tennessee type flavors because Tennessee is usually way more sweet in general. Yeah. yeah. You know so what I mean? With that water kind of brought out the sweetness and without the water, right. it was a little more Which, spicy and whatnot. Again, no evidence to support this whatsoever. We're not scientists. No. No. We're just drinkers. That are hot, hot and sweaty. It is getting hot in here. So take a... Oh, you guys don't want to see that. We could clickbait people and get a ton of views on this video. Two hot, sweaty men getting drunk on wood. 
I like it. <laughs> You're welcome. There's nothing saying that we are hot, like attractively. No, but we are physically, temperature wise, quite right. warm. I mean, this body is like a temple. It's large. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a temple to the uh, Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters. Uh, but the face just ruins it. I mean, the body is gorgeous. The face just ruins it. So, I like Tater from Cars, built for speed and aromatics. Mater, not Tater. Mater, whatever. God, he's a knockoff. Ta- he's a knockoff Mater, so he's Tater. <laughs> So anyway, uh, Barrel Bourbon is, um, they do, they're very proud of their blending. They do a lot of stuff with different distilleries. They do some from Tennessee, Kentucky, Indiana. Some of them are exclusive to that one state, maybe that one distillery. Others are mixed and mingled. Um, And you can tell on the back of the barrel or on the back of the bottle of barrel, uh, it says distilled in Tennessee and Kentucky. And every one of those is unique to the batch. I haven't heard every. There's stuff that I just haven't liked at all. Right. There's been some stuff that's not been in my wheelhouse, but has had some character. Right, because the caveat to that is every batch is different. And they they don't shoot for a single flavor profile. My guess is they probably get a whole bunch of barrels and taste through them and think, you know, what's... Like, what's the most we could do with this and shoot for that flavor profile? Um, so they're not shooting for a single profile. So if you if you try 18 and you're not a huge fan of it, try 19, 20, 21. Like try try a different batch because they are they are very different. And yeah, like you said, you know, some you like better than others, and that's just yeah. the nature of the beast. Uh, that, this, that can be said for single barrels out of the same distillery. So this is uh, like we said, eleven year old and fifty five point seven eight percent. It's one hundred eleven point five six proof. So overall, it's it's a unique bottle. I can say that it for is. sure. It really is. A doubt. Um, I do think retail on it is either sixty or eighty bucks. So I'm a bit low, and you're kind of right there. Right. I said like sixty, seventy, solid sixty. I, th- I think if I paid it's, sixty or sixty-five for that, like I wouldn't be heartbroken or truly no, upset. And it's eleven year old barrel proof, so so you know it's not it's not bad. Um, anything but less any, than anything over like sixty or sixty-five on that, like I wouldn't be real happy with right with that particular bottle um but i wouldn't be upset at 60 or 65 it'd be like oh okay. and it wouldn't stop me from trying another expression yeah obviously because every batch is different you can some stores will let you try stuff if they have it open um obviously if you can that would be a, a great way to do it that'll tell you pretty much right away i tried the eight batch 18 and batch 21 and i like the 18 better personally but yeah. you know just me so the next time you guys see us, we should have some more progress. Uh, paint is the next thing on the list. And right. <laughs> Get rid of those splotchy, splotchy marks from the right. taping and mudding. Right. Which he did a fantastic job. He did. This, he this really did. Smoother than some walls I've just painted. So anyway. Mm. Yeah. Bad rest of mine. Sweet. So, until next week, Friday, noon central, you guys get to see progress in the bar. Cheers. Drink blind. Drink in a bar. We want to give a huge shout out to all of our Patreon people. Absolutely thank you. You guys are freaking magical. T-shirts at Teespring, link in the description. Also, thank you to anyone who has ever supported us, whether that's either coming on a live, chit-chatting with us on a Thursday night, or if you just like to watch our episodes, we appreciate every one of you. Until Friday, noon central next week. Cheers.